let's go ahead and hit the power switch here and make sure we get a boot. We don't have an operating system or anything loaded on it yet, so we should just get a motherboard. We check here, we see that our fan there is running. And we do not yet have a screen. All right. Okay guys, we're not getting a post on our monitor and I believe the reason is, is because looking at this case, uh, one thing I don't like about this case right here is that down here, you can see a ridge right above the where the video card is. This ridge is built into the case here, right here. And where we have an HDMI input right here, that is preventing our HDMI input from, where that HDMI input right there it's preventing our HDMI input cord from going in all the way um, on that. So I believe that that is why we're not seeing anything on the screen. So what we'll do is we'll actually get a DVI adapter here that goes to an HDMI. So it'll come out and that should uh, hopefully fix our problem. Okay, so we've got an adapter here that will go from that DVI input to the HDMI input so we'll go ahead and put this on here and again that ridge on the case I don't know why that's there it's done this particular video card that ridge right there on the case um, it's causing problems So we'll go ahead and try this. I don't really like having to do this because this makes the back of your case stick out a lot more. It makes it hard to get it in too tight spaces, um, you know, push it all the way back. So we'll go ahead and try again, see, uh, see if this works now. Hit the power on our computer. And hopefully we're gonna get a post, at least a motherboard screen. All right, so now we're getting a, at least a post, that's a good sign. Basically it's saying that it uh, has no operating system, nothing to boot to. So we're gonna go ahead and put in Windows at this point. And we're gonna be installing Windows 7 on this. It is loading the files. So far, so good. When Windows comes up, you only just want to select your language and Go ahead and go down, hit next, install now. This is a brand new hard drive, so there's nothing that needs to be formatted or anything like that. So I should just go ahead and set it up immediately. Now, if you're reusing a hard drive that has an old Windows operating system on it of some sort, you'll be asked uh, to format it and uh, configure your hard drive. You wanna go ahead and accept the terms. It's not gonna let you go anywhere, hit next. Now, this is uh, giving you a choice to upgrade to a newer version of Windows and keep your existing files. We have no files, so we're definitely gonna choose install a new copy of Windows or a custom and advanced. Here's where it's gonna give you all your options for 
how much space you have. You can see that we're showing 465, even though it's a 500 gig hard drive. That is because a 500 gig hard drive actually actually has less based on the way uh, how many megabytes are actually in a gigabyte. But that is correct. So it's going to lose about oh, 6 or 7% of whatever hard drive size it says. You'll actually have about 92, 93% of whatever it says. So this will take a while now because it will actually expand all the files uh, for Windows and install Windows. And so this should take probably about uh, 10 to 15 minutes. So we'll go ahead and come back when this is closer to completion. And it's still working. It's been about 15 minutes now. And it is still working on getting everything installed. So we'll go ahead and wait a few more minutes and go ahead and come back the first time it asks us for some information. About uh, just a couple minutes later, Windows is going to reboot. And it should just go ahead and come back up. Okay, it is coming back up. It'll probably reboot several times during this process of installing Windows. One thing I'd like to go ahead and cover is you can see the hard drive indicator light working on this case. I did go ahead and apply my nifty stickers that came with all of my different parts on the case. But I am very happy with the noise level from this tower. It is almost, uh, I mean, you have to put your ears up to it to even hear anything. So the CPU fan, it came stock with that AMD fan, is very quiet. <coughs> the uh, fan from the Zotac uh, video card and the case fan uh, are virtually noise free. So that is one definite advantage of uh, this particular build, uh, very low noise. So we look back over here and we see that it is still completing the installation. So we'll be back in just a few more minutes. This is, the, this is the second reboot of the computer. It's automatically doing this all on its own. It is coming back up and rebooting quick though, so that's a good sign. It means our computer and the Windows operating system it's installing is running pretty quick. It's still going ahead and automatically performing tasks to get the computer set up for the first use. Now we see it finally comes up asking for our information. So we'll go ahead and oops. We'll go ahead and type a name here. This is gonna be for my father. So we'll go ahead and put in his name. Password, I don't like to use a password here. If you want to put in a password, you want to make sure you write it down and remember it. And a hint, you can put that in if you want. Otherwise, if you don't want to do a password, just hit next. And at this point, it will ask for your key. We'll go ahead and put that in. Your Windows key, it'll go to the next, next screen. Um, I always just use the recommended settings. Change it, the time zone to whatever time zone yours is. Make sure the time is correct and my time is not correct at all. It's actually the 16th here. And right, once you get the time in, just go ahead and hit next and it will finalize your settings. And preparing your desktop for the first use. Now once you get to this point, you are basically completed. 
you're just going to want to go ahead and make sure you update your drivers for your video card your motherboard drivers you can either get those from the website where you buy your motherboard or you can get those with the cd or the dvd that it comes with um, and once you put your drivers on there you can install any software you want to use and you're set to go make sure you connect online connect your ethernet cable or connect it online and make sure you activate your windows uh, put antivirus on your computer and you can find videos for how to do this uh, online and on YouTube as well. I'll be posting these kind of uh, videos in the future. But looks like we were successful with our build of a budget PC for under 275 and looks like it's running well. Alright guys, we're back after installing to the basic drivers. And just want to go ahead and let's go ahead and see what kind of ratings, Windows ratings, this $275 custom build gives us. Not expecting a whole lot, but uh, let's just see what happens here. Rate this computer for a Windows Experience Index. And it is running the Direct 3D uh, 9 arrow assessment now. So it may take a few minutes. Four point eight. Okay, that's not bad for a uh, two hundred and seventy-five dollar build. Let's look at this. We've got our processor calculations per second. It comes in at six point four. We've got our system memory, memory operations per second, coming in at seven point three. Graphics, desktop performance for Windows Arrow. That's the lowest at 4.8. Gaming graphics, this one's actually kind of impressive for that little $19 card. Uh, 3D and gaming graphics performance coming in at a 6.2. And then data transfer rate for your hard drive um, coming in at a 5.9. So 4.8 being the lowest um, and 6.2 gaming graphics processor 6.4. That's actually a pretty impressive for a $275 bill. So I just wanted to go ahead and share that with you here and uh, kind of let you know how the budget build is performing. So there you go. Thanks for watching, Zach Stern 99.